What's going on, y'all? Jonathan Barbecue here with Cowboy Charco, and today we're making ribeye antipasto bites. Let's get it. So we got our natural all hardwood briquettes here. You don't have to worry about using lighter fluid and imparting these bitter taste on your food. This stuff is all natural. Fire's ready to go in about 15 minutes. All right, so what we got ourselves is a couple ribeyes here. And uh, if you're just making this for yourself and one other person, you probably could get away you know, with just one, especially if it's an appetizer. Uh, but if you want to do it for more of a crowd, you can use two. And we're keeping it real simple today. We're going to start off with some salt and then we'll follow that up with coarse black pepper. All right, so boom, simple as that. Salt, pepper, both sides. Uh, one note I want to give you too, before we got started today, we did have these sitting out at room temp. And as the grill continues to come up to temperature, we're going to let these sit out. That way, right when they hit that piping hot grill, we're only going to have to give them a few minutes per side. Time to get cooking with Cowboy. We're going to give them about three minutes aside and then we're taking them right off of the hot grill. Give these a flip and man, you can smell that wood smoke flavor. That's just what we want. Woo! Man, that's going to be good. All right, steaks are done. Looking real good. We're just going to let these rest and while they're resting, we'll prep everything up for our skewers. Now for our steak bites, we're gonna be filling these with sweet cherry peppers as well as some aged cheddar there. Now we got two different types of cheese and this is the cool thing about something like this. You can switch it up. You can go with different styles. Um, if you want something a bit on the milder side, you could go with mozzarella. Um, today we got aged white cheddar and we got a ghost pepper aged white cheddar as well. And we're just gonna uh, cube these up here. One very important tip when you're slicing these, you wanna do them thin. We want them to be able to get around the cheese and those peppers so that the skewer can go through them. And then the ones that do fall apart like that, those are just uh, snacks for your boy. I mean, come on, man, look at that. These are gonna be fire. We're gonna take our slice of ribeye, some of that aged white cheddar, and then we're gonna just roll it all together. Just like that. And then we pin it all together like this. Boom. Again, this is something that you can make as an appetizer for a crowd. You can make up a bunch of these, or you could just use one ribeye if you're just doing a couple servings. This is a really easy uh, recipe to, to expand or to, or to size down based on how many folks you're trying to feed. A little Olive oil over the top, a little more salt, pepper to finish off the job. Ribeye antipasto bites. 